Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss about ethics case studies. Case study 1. The Supreme Court has banned mining in the Aravli Hills to stop the degradation the forest cover and to maintain ecological balance. However, stone mining to still prevalent in the border district of the affected state with the connivance of certain corrupt forest officials and politicians. A young and dynamic SP who was recently posted in the affected district promised to himself to stop this menace. In one of his surprise checks with his team, he found a loaded truck with stone trying to escape the mining area. He tried to stop the truck but the truck driver overran the police officer, killing him on the spot, and thereafter managed to flee. Police filed FIR but no breakthrough was achieved in the case for almost three months. Ashok, who was the investigative journalist working with a leading TV channel, Sumoto started investigating the case. Within one month, Ashok got a breakthrough by interacting with local people, the stone mining mafia and government officials. He prepared his investigative story and presented it to the CND of the TV channel. He exposed in his investigative report the complete nexus of the stone mafia working with the blessing of corrupt police and civil officials and politicians. The politician who was involved in the mafia was no one else but a local MLA who was considered to be very close to the chief minister. After going through the investigative report, the CMD advised Ashok to drop the idea of making the story public through electronic media. He informed that the local MLA was not only the relative of the owner of the TV channel but also had an unofficially 20% share in the channel. The CMD further informed Ashok that his further promotion and hike in pay will be taken care of in addition the soft loan of 10 lakhs which he has taken from the TV channel for his son's chronic disease will be suitably adjusted if he hands over the investigative report to him. A. What are the options available to Ashok to cope with the situation? B. Critically evaluate examine each of the options identified by Ashok. C. What are the ethical dilemmas being faced by Ashok? D. Which of the options, do you think, would be the most appropriate for Ashok to adopt and why? E. In the above scenario, what type of training would you suggest for police officers posted to such districts where stone mining illegal activities are rampant? Answer in 250 words, 20 marks. Case study 2, you have done MBA from a reputed institution three years back but could not get campus placement due to COVID-19 generated recession. However, after a lot of persuasion and a series of competitive tests including written and interview, you managed to get a job in a leading shoe company. You have aged parents who are dependent and staying with you. You also recently got married after getting this decent job. You were allotted the inspection section, which is responsible for clearing the final product. In the first year, you learned your job well and were appreciated for your performance by the management. The company is doing good business for the last five years in the domestic market and this year it is decided even to export to Europe and Gulf countries. However, one large consignment to Europe was rejected by their inspecting team due to certain poor quality and was sent back. The top management ordered that the EBIT consignment be cleared for the domestic market. As a part of the inspecting team, you observed the glaring poor quality and brought it to the knowledge of the team commander. However, the top management advised all the members of the team to overlook these defects as the management cannot bear such a huge loss. Rest of the team members except you promptly signed and cleared the consignment for the domestic market, overlooking glaring defects. You again brought to the knowledge of the team commander that such consignment, if cleared even for the domestic market, will tarnish the image and reputation of the company and will be counterproductive in the long run. However, 
you were further advised by the top management that if you do not clear the consignment, the company will not hesitate to terminate your services citing certain innocuous reasons. A. Under the given conditions, what are the options available to you as a member of the inspecting team? B. Critically evaluate each of the options listed by you. C. What option would you adopt and why? D. What are the ethical dilemmas being faced by you? E. What can be the consequences of overlooking the observations raised by the inspecting team? Thank you, everyone. Subscribe to UIAS channel.